morning. It's my half day this half. Shall I come round early? What for? I don't know. I'm taking Daniel for a walk if the weather holds. Oh. I mean, what for anyway? I don't know. Best not then, eh? No. Um, I don't know. No, I don't either. Okay then, come about four. Come about four? Dunno. Okay then, about four. Bye, Ashley. Bye, Kelly. Bye, Kelly. Bye, Ashley. Bye, Ashley. Oh, excuse me. I'm not too late, am I? Pardon? I meant to put this out last night, but, um... Oh. Uh, OK, then. Hey, but don't do it again. Keys to my bike lock. You will go carefully now, won't you? I won't go anywhere if I don't find them. Yeah, I think I had a couple too many last night. You did? No, it'll have been the crisps. <laughs> Are you not going into the garage today? Well, I show my face. I won't stick around. Oh, you've been scared off, have you? Of course not. What are you on about? We well, were in there all day yesterday. Exactly. Yesterday I showed them that I was hands on. Today, I don't want to poke my nose in. It's your flaming garage. You've got every right to be there. Yeah. I think they like me being there, by and large. I mean, I don't think I was too much at wear. It is your flaming garage. Thank you. Can I have two bacon? Well, tears, one with ketchup, one with mustard. I knew you two were going to say something original. Well, what a bit of point. Look at me, stuck here all day. I need some stimulus. <laughs> Why? We say something original and you'll turn around and say we don't stock it. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> what I don't understand is why it takes two of you to carry two bacon butties back to Coronation Street. No, it doesn't, you see. But after this, we're off round the chip shop, the bookies and the off-licence, <laughs> didn't you know? Here's me thinking you work, silly me. No, we have to be watched, don't we, Kevin? Mm. Every minute of the flipping day. And you ask up along. Well, don't tell me you prefer Baldwin. Hey, Baldwin knew nothing about the business, but at least he just let us get on. Yeah, this bloke's an amateur, and he sticks his nose in. Is that right? Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, he was watching us all day yesterday, Gail. I've done that garage for years. What does he think I'm going to do? Isn't he just taking an interest? Well, so here we are again. How often do you come here? Once a week. All the happy people uh, live here. Never know what to look at you. Oh, it's a bit of an obby for you, isn't it, Phyllis? Well, I like the warmth and the comfort. It's the only bit of warmth you get, isn't it? How do you mean? I went to her house once. Just one bar of her gas fire turned down low. Cold as a morgue. Morning. Morning. Oh, look who's here. It's a bit busy, isn't it? Thanks. Well, we could oh, fit you in this after. What, Fiona? I don't suppose it's a I don't know. I'll have to ask her. No, it's all right. I'll come back later. I don't remember you coming to my place. After the age concern, Beetle Drive. Two of us come. I don't think so. The Burnham tree outside the window. No, there isn't. She's confused, poor soul. There's three wheelie bins under my window, and I've never turned my gas low. Just excuse me a minute. What did he want? Well, he said a haircut. Well, he's in court on Friday. He doesn't need a haircut. He said, with you. I mean, all I said was, if it's a positive inquiry and we've got the name and address, then we simply tap it down here on the database, provided they're reasonably local. That's all I was asking her to do. I mean, let's face it, it's not much to ask, is it? Mm. Well, I don't mind doing it. Oh, bless you. Thanks, love. And I'll pay you for the day. Uh, morning. I can't do afternoon. Oh. I mean, fancy walking out over a thing like that. Anybody would think jobs are to a penny. Maybe she had a job to go to. <laughs> Only workers would suit Madge Singleton if some in big top. Grandad, how would you feel if I moved out? Well, I'd feel disappointed. Why on earth should you? Oh, it's not fair on you, is it? I shouldn't keep running back to you every time I have a problem. I should be independent. Lord knows I'm old enough. Oh, well, that's right. And you've never been one to stand on your own feet, have you? Even when you were 15 and your parents got killed, straight away you were asking for somebody to take care of you. 
It's all been self with you, hasn't it, Vicky? Yeah, well, I'm not 15 now. Look, love, there are things we need a hand with, no matter how old or independent we are. And a bad marriage is one of the hardest things to cope with, alone. You know I know. You've got your life to lead now, though, haven't you? A life? <laughs> well, I, but I don't see how you stop me leading my life. In some ways, you are my life. Oh, Grandad. Don't move out, love. There is another reason. Go on. I want to be totally honest with you here. Right. I just feel, while ever we're under the same roof, no, Steve has to brave you if he wants to get in touch. Hey, my little lass. Nay, <laughs> my <Amy>, grandfather. <laughs> we speak every Friday. Is she working? No, there's not a lot of choice for her. No, it's the same for everybody. Yeah, quite, but a kid with a transplant, I mean, she really is limited. And she's on pills for the rest of her life. Mm, makes you realise, doesn't it? A lot worse off than ourselves. I don't like you saying that, Gail. I'm sorry, I only... I'm not saying you're wrong. She is worse off. I just don't like you saying it. No, of course you don't. Hey, the mess I've made. One daughter and she's held as an example of how not to be. Well, I wouldn't say that. You just did. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done. Actually, I, uh, I've been thinking of going to see her, you know, going down there. Oh, well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, it depends. I'm either going to be the best thing since sliced bread or the mother from hell interfering with her life. London? Yeah, Hackney. I hope she's got somewhere reasonable. She says it is. I'd go. Yeah, I could make a long weekend of it. The tr trouble is, I don't feel I've earned it. When I go on a jaunt, I like to feel as if I've been working hard, you know, earning the money for it. And haven't you? Well, part-time at the corner shop, now tells. <laughs> so, until you see your daughter, you've got to wait till you're in full-time employment. <laughs> 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 Makes a lot of sense, that, Deirdre. Uh, Gail, can I pay you, please? Yeah, of course you can. Come so, on. So, 165, please, Ooh, sir. that's it. I didn't realise Kevin was uh, so fed up we're done. Well, who says he is? He did. And Tony. What kind of good word? When was that? Oh, breakfast. Oh, they shouldn't be talking like that. I mean, I know you won't say anything. Of course but... I won't. Well, it's too small a street, isn't it? If they've got a problem, it's between them and Don. They shouldn't go telling all and sundry. Oh, they said he was always hanging over them, watching everything they do. Sounded like mutiny to me. Oh, it's not that bad. But aren't they stupid here? I mean, what's it got to do with you, Gail? No offence. It's <laughs> not taken. They just shouldn't be talking like that, should they, really? Come on, Sophie, come on, Puppet. Well, it's a rank mystery, I say. It's a rank mystery. What would you say, Mrs Bishop? A young lad, fit as a lop, gets to work on time, no problems there, well scrubbed and smooth of chin. But now he's wandering around cow-eyed, he can't keep his mind on his job, he's... Tired, absent-minded, distracted. If you didn't know better, you could almost say you were in love. Shut up, Uncle Fred. Well, it's a mystery, lad. Is it late nights? You're not sleeping. Must be very late nights. Right, you're getting up too early in the morning to do your studying, is that it? Is it that old NVQ butchery magic that's got you in its spell? No. It stays a mystery. I suppose you need to be early risers in your trade, don't you? Oh, you do, Mrs Bishop. I say you do. Oh, the bin men, aren't you, Ashley? Well, how much was in it? A couple of grand. A couple of care. <laughs> well, you're just going to have to use one of your other accounts. I'm sure you have a few, Stu. No, that was it. The malicious cow. It's oh. virtually stealing, that, isn't it? I'll tell you what. Be honest now, hand on your heart. How much of that money did she pay under the account, eh? Yeah, but it doesn't work like that, does it? Go on, I mean, roughly, just guess. Oh, eh? I said it doesn't work like that. No, no, Stephen, listen to me. 1500 a grand, what? Look, it's what I use. It's what I use for the business. Your marriage is on the point of breaking up, Stephen. Don't sound so surprised if she's emptying your bank account. I was surprised about how soon she did it, tell you. Oh, I see. Aye, 
Speak you to it. Right, love. I'll get my goat too, so it will. Um, have you got any cheap trips to London? Could be one of these mini-break things, but it must be cheap. Uh -oh. Now, when do you want to go? Oh, uh, well, next weekend, but it doesn't matter. Oh, has it got to be weekend? No, I just thought you can sometimes get cheap at weekends. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, any time. There's nothing keeping me here. I'm going down to see Tracy. She's in Acne. Oh, little Tracy. Hey, where does the time go, eh? Hey, yeah, and here's another one. Oh. They grow like forced rhubarb, you know. <laughs> Hello. Hello, love. I didn't expect to see you here. No, Grandad was shut of a dog's body, so guess who stepped in? Hey, you're never a dog's body. Anyway, I've got to go now. Is that all right? Of course it is, love, and thanks for your help. It's all right. See you later. Bye, see love. You. Yeah, she saved my bacon this morning. Is she working here, then? Oh, no, no. She's just stepped into the breach today. Does that mean that you're, um, short-staffed? It does, yes. You mean you're looking for someone? I am, yes. Full-time job? Full-time. I'm supposed to ask if you can use a VDU. I'd much rather ask if you could tap dance. <laughs> Smile, that is a sight for sore eyes. I think I'm in shock. You want a brandy for it? No, I'll have a wine. Right. Oh, and uh, by the way, make it your best. Now, red wine is 3p more than white wine. Go so... on then, I'm pushing the boat. Oh, out. you did right. What else can you expect? Hiya, love. Hiya. There we are. Oh, okay. oh that smells lovely, Betty, that. Should have brought two forks. No, no, I'm off in a minute. I just wanted a quick word with Kevin. So... Oh, plenty if you change your mind. All right, thanks. Thanks. So, what's up? You've got that face up. Yes, I have actually. Well, I walked into the cafe and there's Gail telling me you're close to mutiny with Doug. So? So it's not your place to go telling her things like that. And it's not her place to go spreading it about. We was having a moan, that's all. Well, that's how things get out, isn't it? You should know that living in a street like this. So, I'm not a kid and she should know better than to go blabbing it about. Yeah, well, she didn't. She just told me. Look, I can do without the lecture. I don't care if it does get out. Might even stop him sticking his neb in. Yeah, well, you should be saying all this to Don, not to anybody who happens to be behind his back. Look, who's that in there? Who is he? Hey, see who's at the door. Hiya. Oh, let me in before I'm seen. Hello. Uncle Fred said I didn't have foes down tonight. So what are you doing now? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm looking after Daniel. Can he get to bed? It don't work like that, Ashley. There ain't a switch to switch him off. <laughs> oh, liver and tripe. Oh, well, best have a shower then. All right, lads. Here we go again. Lads, you all right? Why should we be? Ah, no reason, just wondered. Well, you saw who was all right yesterday. You saw that all day. What's up? What are you doing here? What's my garage? Why the hell shouldn't I be? All right, fine. If you don't like the way we're running it, you think we're ripping you off, fine. Stick it. You can keep your garage. You don't work while I'm watched. Tony, you're a boss, if you'll have you. And best of luck, pal. Kevin! Kevin, get back here! Kevin! Work or work? No work. You don't talk to me like that. I've got every right to be in there, and for as long as I want, I can be in there all day and every day. Because it's mine. Do you hear? It's mine. I paid a flaming fortune for it, and no mechanic is going to tell me not to set foot in it. The floor's mine, the roof's mine, every bloody stick in the place. I don't sit there thinking that you're ripping me off or, or I'm spying on you. I sit there because I'm green behind the ears and I'm learning. Do I tell you what to do? Hey, do I interfere? Do I, hell? Now go on. Get your backside in there and get back to work. You're not but a jumped up grease monkey. Hey, you don't talk to me like that. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. I do, because I pay your flaming wages. What are you gawking at? Get back to work. But we don't need watching. Look, like I said, 
I watch because I need to. Not for you, for me. To learn. Yeah, well, should have said that then, shouldn't you? I think I just did. Yeah, well. Played the ad, I suppose, eh? I hope so. Just go to the toilet. I'll be back in a sec. I used to be really jealous of him. I mean, he always had the money, always had the women. I used to crack on, I was Einstein like to compensate, but they didn't fool anybody. Well, they fooled the old fella, but that's not much really, is it? And now look at us. He's skint, he's lost his wife, and he's out on bail. He might even lose his flat. And I've got university. Nice little part-time job, decent digs, and I've even got myself a woman. Oh, yeah, where? Oh, well, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? It is weird, though, isn't it, how things work out? It was almost physical. I mean, he'd always get a new car or another woman or a right load of cash that'd see him, right? And I'd feel it like a punch in the guts. But now... Well, he almost looks small, have you noticed? Are you pleased? No, of course not. Really? Not just a little bit? Am I a scumbag? You'd be a saint if you weren't, Andy. But I'd be gutted if they banged him up, and I mean that, honestly. That'll be him. I'll go. I'd do anything to keep him out of jail. Nice to meet you. Hey, Zangie. Yeah, come in. Right, mate. Hey. Uh, just chilling out. What can I get you? Um, I'll have a beer. You got a beer? No problem. Isn't he asleep yet? Not yet. Do you know much about commodities? No. Why? I thought you might, that's all. How about traded options? Don't even know what they are. No, me. Ah, well, won't get rich this year. Should you be wearing his dressing gown? You won't know, will he? I'm not sure I'd like it. Why? Someone wearing my dressing gown. Oh, I'll hang it up again. Isn't he asleep yet? No! How much you know about guilt? That's him! Blimey. Ah. Hello, Mr Barlow. Hello, Kelly. And, uh Ashley. 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 Hello, sir. Ashley Peacock in my dressing gown. Yes, sir. Well, um, my clothes, they was, um... Yeah, just... elsewhere, obviously. Well, you better go and get them, didn't you? I didn't expect you back today. Obviously. How's Daniel been? He was awake during the night, but he's, he's caught up now. I don't like you giving people the run of my house, Kelly. He's had a shower. I'm sorry. He'd come straight from the butcher's. And is this going to happen regularly when my back's turned? No. Well, I hope not. <sighs> Sorry, um, shoes and socks. I took them off earlier. You took them off earlier. Hmm. Well, I'm off then. Where are you going? Oh, I've got things to do. I've, uh, I've got the flat to sort out, haven't I? I'm out of there whether I'm going down or not. Hey, stick around, man. You don't be going home on your own anyway, not tonight. I'll cook you something if you like. Condemn man's breakfast. Well, they won't put you down, Steve, I promise. Do you want a bet? Tell him, Des. Mm -hmm. Tell him what? Tell him he's not going to prison. I had a joke today. Do you want to hear it? Go on, then. What do you call a McDonald in a suit? Don't know. The accused. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? That's not very funny, mate. Yes, it is. Well, not to me, it isn't. Well, to me, it is. So what do we do? Agree to differ? No, I think you should apologise. I don't. Look, that's the old fella and our kid you're insulting. Yeah, I realise that. Look, leave it out, Andy. No, I won't leave it out. I want an apology. Well, tough. Cos I've had it up to here with your family. I tell you what, get your mother to apologise for coming on to me, your dad for threatening me, you for accusing me, and most of all, the whole flaming lot of you for cluttering up my place. I'm sick of it. I come back, it's, a, it's like a lock-in in a backstreet pub. You got no work to go to, any of you. Where's all this come from, Des? Way back. 
way back, mate. So that's the end of the road, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Right, well, I'll uh, move the rest of my stuff out later then, all right? Good. Hey, help. Oh, yeah. So how was your day? Oh, not bad. Did you go to the garage today? I uh, looked in, yeah. And did you feel as though you were poking your nose in? Well, that's what Kevin said. He didn't. He did, actually. Oh, and you just let him, I suppose. You are so frustrating. That is our garage, that is. He won't do it again. Oh, well, if he does, you send me over. I'll flip and sort him out. I'll bet him mine. You're not having one? No, I've just had one, thanks. And he's lost his room because of me. How cool? I got up Desi's nose. So where's Andy gonna go? <sighs> My mum's. Do you know something? That flat above the cafe, it's the only time I've ever been happy. There were good times then, Fee. Maxine said that you wanted a haircut. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need one. Don't you reckon, though? They were great times. It was a long time ago. Yeah, well, not to me. Look, we couldn't go upstairs, could we? Why? No, no I don't mean, you know, I just mean it would be more comfortable, I expect. I mean, it feels like you're still working down here. Look, I'm really sorry for all your trouble, honestly. You did have a lot going for you. Yeah, well, I still have, though, you know. I mean, once I get through all of this, you know, I'll... Yeah, I've, I've still got a lot going. I met the wrong woman. I don't think so. Listen, you don't know what she's like. You won't believe some of the strokes she pulls. Oh, and you don't, eh? Yeah, well, I made some mistakes. I never meant to hurt anyone. Oh, I don't believe it's all Vicky's fault. Come on, let's go upstairs. You married for money. Yeah, well, all right, then I was stupid. But I was young. <laughs> it was last year. Well, there you go, then. I'm still young. Come on, you can forgive a couple of mistakes. The biggest one was losing you. Yeah. Look, when I get through all this, you know, I'll, I'll be operating again. I'm going to get my head down, get back to work. Life starts here. Good for you. I've made a right mess of things, haven't I? Come here. <sighs> Should we go upstairs? Look, I'm going out. I've got to get ready. You. Finish your coffee, I'll, I'm going to go clear up in there. See ya. Bye. 